If you've heard about carbon dioxide based extraction of cannabis, you've come to the right place here on Debaco University because we're going to go through and explain a little bit more about this extraction process. All right, let's get into carbon dioxide based extraction of cannabis. So first off, what's the description of this method? Well, the plant material is first ground and then placed into an extraction vesicle. CO2 gas undergoes intense pressure and heat until it becomes supercritical. And a pump then forces the supercritical carbon dioxide into the extraction chamber where trichrome and cannabinoid breakdown occur. So this is involving not just regular CO2 in the air, there is that getting it into that supercritical level. This is why specialized equipment is required. Now this goes on to, and this shows another image down here, uh, the pressure uh, release valve forces the material into a separate container where the temperature and pressure can be precisely controlled. This will cause the molecules within the initial mixture to, to bond to the CO2. Many systems will reroute the CO2 back into the tank causing uh, it to be used during the next batch. So they can kind of like almost go back and kind of like reuse that. The extraction though is then moved to a collection jar, such as a beaker. We have separate collection jars here and collect separate fractions. Here we're seeing that CO2 is going back to recycler where it could be potentially reused. So this is important to know that it's not just as simple as CO2 from the air. Uh, we are having that super critical level of CO2 and that says what is part requires the specialized equipment. So what's the resulting end product? Well, the CO2 extraction results in a crude oil extract that must be further refined through other methods, such as the distillation process. The potency of the extract typically ranges from 50 to 70% cannabinoids. The advantages of this method is higher yielding than alcohol-based extraction, uh, less value material is wasted. Specific compounds with adjustments made to heat, pressure, and runtime. So we can kind of determine what we kind of get or extract from this. No residual solvent in the final product due to the evaporation of the carbon dioxide. That's a great way kind of quote unquote to dispose of the waste there. However, the disadvantages are that um, much higher initial startup costs when compared to other extraction methods. Once purchased, the equipment does require proper training and safety procedures to be understood and followed, mainly because you are creating that super critical carbon dioxide. So again, there are some advantages and disadvantages of each, but typically this process will require additional steps after, um, but this can be a great way to kind of start the refinement process, start the extraction process, and may be worthwhile exploring for your operation.